All right, tubers, we're going to do another cold, dark start video here. Uh, this one is an Embraer 175, I believe. Uh, the 170, 175, 190, 195 are all identical. I can't tell from up here. But anyway, I want to show you the difference between this airplane, which is a new airplane. This airplane was built in March of 2017. So it's, it's a, I'm filming this. You know, in December, so this airplane's only six, seven, eight months old. Anyway, this airplane's completely dirt. Like all airplanes, if you want to start them up, you got to get a battery switch. This airplane has two batteries. I turn on number two first, just because. Once everything starts working, I'll put number one on. Now I have both batteries on. The next thing you got to do is the APU. Well, we'll wait till we get a bunch of stuff up so I can at least see the APU. And down here is the indication for the APU. And you can see it's still selected off. Let's go ahead and select it on. There's the APU selector. Put it on. Now when it gets numbers, you see how it's got blanks here? When it gets numbers, then it's ready to start. There, we got a zero RPM, and the temperature outside is three degrees. That warning chime is telling you the battery's discharging. Okay, now take the APU switch over to the start position, hold it for a couple seconds, put it back to run, and leave it alone. But down here on the, in, on the indicators, you can see the RPM is coming up, and the temperature's rising. Now, the computer in the back, let me silence that, the computer uh, governs all of this stuff. There's, obviously, we're not doing anything to it, right? There's 50, 60, 70. When it comes up, this is the difference between the newer generation aircraft and the older one. Now, it checks the power. The power is okay. So the APU is now powering the bus. We can go see that if we want. But uh, now here's the the, uh, the page for electrical, and you can see that the APU is now powering all of the AC and the DC buses. Uh, everything's powered except the AC start circuit, which is cut off all by itself. So, also, the airplane is smart enough, there's the air conditioning, it comes on by itself. ECS, Environmental Control Systems. You can see that the APU, now that it's warmed up a little bit, is supplying air to both packs, and they're already set for what temperature you want. These are centigrade, 23, 26, and this is the current temperature right now. So you can see it's going to be dumping a bunch of heat back in here. So, and to help it out, it actually runs the research fans. So, this is the difference between the newest aircraft and the old ones. This airplane is completely autonomous. Not autonomous, but the computer does everything all by itself. Uh, this airplane is actually a little more advanced than the Airbus. The Airbus doesn't, uh, isn't quite so good. Close. Now, if you're wondering about the main engines, here are the main engines, and they're done exactly the same way. We got the run position and the start position. And when you engage the run and start position, it automatically takes care of everything for you. It just turns the packs off. Uh, it does a bunch of stuff that it needs to do. Hydraulic pumps. Uh, when you look on the overhead, everything on here has got an auto position. Uh, like over here, your hydraulics, everything has auto. Oh, there's APU. Yeah, this thing doesn't want to focus on that. We've got hydraulic pumps. There's a, the two there that say off, auto, and on, those are the engine there, the pumps. The ones below that are the backup. Uh, so, 
loose air plane basically takes care of itself. Anyway, that's all there is to it. It's uh, an amazing piece of equipment when everything works good. When it doesn't work good, and it's fairly easy to uh, troubleshoot and fix. It's really not that bad at all. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed it, that's all there is to starting up one of these. Battery switches, APU switches, sit on your hands. Alright, come out.